how are you? I've already prepped my face with this Phoenix Ice Pre-Shave Stick and Lather Booster. My razor is going to be this, a Hong Long razor, about a $2 razor off of Wish. Uh, got several years ago, or it might have been one of their offerings where it was uh, free, you just pay a dollar postage. It's one of those razors that I didn't expect a lot out of, but it might surprise a person. Um, twist to open. Uh, well, let's see. How's this work? Uh, now it's falling apart, it seems like. Where's my... Well, <laughs> okay. This is very confusing. Trust me, it's a twist to open mechanism. There it goes. Okay. Sorry, I was having a little problem with it there. Twist to open in there. On its second use, by the way, I have a big Ben blade. There's what that looks like, the tuck. Let me see if I can put this back together. I'm trying to figure out what I was doing wrong here. Oh, now it's working just fine. It felt like the whole handle, yeah, the whole handle was twisting off there for a minute. So you got to be careful with these, I guess. But, uh, yeah, sorry, I was, I, I should have shown you that. This handle... If you're not careful, this handle will unscrew, and I don't want to, I don't want to unscrew it any more than that. In fact, I don't think it's ever done that before. But then the the ordinary mechanism works correctly, and this is some kind of really cheap metal. And uh, yeah, sorry, I'm kind of getting off track here, but this thing was puzzling me myself just now. So for a free uh, or a one or two dollar razor it's not bad at least it hasn't been before let's see what it does this time i know i've used it at least twice um my shaving cream this time is going to be the ingram menthol we've had some pretty warm weather here there's a heat advisory today but i don't know if that's stuck because it got overcast and cooled off uh, later in the afternoon so we have the ingram menthol which is from Egypt, I, th I think, uh, because it's no, uh, the Ingram is no longer made in the UK, and I think they might have just had the uh, blue version, the regular version, I'm not sure. Um, I've already lathered up in the Sterling Collapsible Shaving Bowl using this Yaki uh, brush. I don't know what the millimeters on here because it doesn't say your yeah, key professional brush it says synthetic and uh, 24 26 millimeters something like that let me try to get a lather going here I hope you're all doing well out there <laughs> flinging a little lather here and there Let's see, very nice, nice uh, menthol and eucalyptus scent, I guess, pleasant scent, relatively cool on the face, maybe, maybe not as cool as some other menthol creams, but it feels nice nonetheless. Uh, now, I'm, now I'm getting more of the cool menthol feel, about as soon as I said that last thing about maybe it's not as cool as some of the other creams. Now I'm starting to feel the menthol coolness of it. Very nice. And very appropriate for this time of year. Yeah. Hmm. I'm liking this. I think I've only used this cream once before. Once or twice. It's real nice. I think I've used it on camera before. So I'll try to set all this aside and get shaving here. Let me uh, wet my razor. Hi there, I'm right here still. <sighs> okay, here we go. Pass number one with the grain. Big Ben blade, third use. Oh wow. Talk about aggressive. Huh, I forgot how aggressive this could be. And yet with one of these cheap razors, I somehow got a Really good shave, one time at least. Oh wow. I'm pretty sure that blade's in there correctly. It's just kind of aggressive. 
And stereotypically, perhaps, I always assumed that Asian men had uh, sparse facial hair and wouldn't need a very aggressive razor, but anyway, the, what is it, the Hong Long razor, ladies and gentlemen. I have one of these in gold as well. Yeah, I'm serious, I really do. I don't know if it's called Hong Long or if it's another brand. A very, I guess you could call it a very, very cheap knockoff of maybe a Gillette Super Speed or something. So I'm just going to use light pressure here. Um, uh, about two days worth of growth, or really not quite two days, maybe about a little, just a little over a day and a half worth of growth on my face here. Let me go ahead and rinse this. Okay, continuing here. Well, this time, all I can say is what a lousy razor. But also, like I've already noted, one of my cheap razors gave me a good shave despite everything once. And I don't remember it being this uncomfortable of a shave. And usually a big thin blade, um, even on the third use, has been pretty good for me. This is just a, a problematic, uncomfortable shave so far. Ugh. But I'm going to try to muscle through this, so to speak. Wow, I'm not liking it, though. This time, the shave is proving that um, you probably should avoid these $1 and $2 razors. It, it, you're probably smart enough to know that already, but... Yeah, they're not a bargain. I've got some $7 razors that are great, especially compared to this. In fact, I think I've got a $3 razor that's great compared to this. Or another brand of Chinese razor I was given free. Not from Wish, but from another concern, another shaving concern. Did I give myself a weeper already? Yeah. Oh, oh well. Oh boy. I'm giving myself weepers already. Maybe I just haven't found the right angle for this very aggressive razor. I'm trying to use a fairly light touch here. There are things that are a lot worse, or that could be a lot worse in life, but this is, I know I'm using a little hyperbola here, but this is kind of a mild torture. It's not horribly painful, it's just not comfortable. There doesn't seem to be any intuitively good way to use this razor. Maybe that's why I put it away for so long and didn't use it. Maybe it was always this bad. Well, it must have been. But I never throw anything away, and I never give anything away unless I have duplicates. And so far I'm thinking it would be an insult to give this razor to anybody. Probably wouldn't want to give this to your worst enemy. Okay, that's pass number one, such as it is. I'll be right back for pass number two across the grain.
Well, that menthol cream sure feels good on those uh, couple of weepers I got. Let's go across the grain here. Hope, hope this gets easier somehow. Going with the grain. I hope I said with the grain for that first pass was not very easy. You'd think that would be the easiest part, going uh, with the grain. I hope I didn't say against the grain. If I did, I meant to say with the grain. Now I'm going across the grain, and oddly enough, this is more comfortable right now. But maybe it's because i already taken so much hair off. It's like this thing maybe isn't shaving hair off so much as it is plucking it off or something. But again, I don't think it's the blade. I'm pretty sure it's the razor. Still sounds bad, but feels much more comfortable on this pass. Okay. What, did I not get enough cream on my face the first pass? This is, well, no, well I wouldn't call this very comfortable. It's more comfortable than that first pass. For whatever reason. Okay, continuing here. Oh, now this isn't comfortable above the upper lip. Jeez. Ah. Well, anyway, I was uh, out looking at my flower beds earlier. I've been calling it a garden, but it's really just a couple of little flower beds. But, uh, yeah, the uh, taller wildflowers are starting to, well, they, they've been uh, blossoming, fairly good-sized flowers. Other than the little ones, the smaller flowers that were closer to the ground, had already been blooming and now the very tall stalks, stalks, the ones that aren't frondy for lack of better words, those the ones that just have kind of regular sort of leaves on them, those, uh, those are growing nice, they're blooming nice wildflowers. And uh, yeah, very nice. Gotten some compliments on my flower beds, my little garden. Not really big enough to be a garden, I guess. You can call it whatever you want. I don't know if the uh, if the stalks, the wildflower stalks that have uh, kind of fronds on them instead of leaves, uh, if if fronds is the right word. Uh, I wonder if they're going to bloom or if they're supposed to bloom. If they are and if they do, they'll be the last of the ones, they'll be the last wildflowers of mine to bloom, I guess. And uh, had a poppy and there's a, a, a poppy came out of some of my shorter wildflowers. I didn't know there were poppy seeds mixed in. I guess poppies are kind of wildflower. Anyway, and, and a couple of more of those ready to bloom the first bloom, the petals got blown away by the wind, and it wasn't even that strong of wind. Be right back, and then we'll go against the grain for pass number three. Okay, I'm going to go against the grain now for the third pass, and uh, does that give you any idea? I don't know if you can see that. There's the blade gap on there. That looks uh, 
kind of uh, kind of like a big gap. Uh, maybe not compared to some razors. I don't know, but uh, yeah, kind of an aggressive uh, twist to open razor. Seems it anyway. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, against the grain, I'll start on my neck, and this this could be painful. I don't know. I gotta be careful. Might just have to use a flatter angle on this razor. Very aggressive, it seems like. Flip the razor over. In some of my shaves, I used to talk about other things, or things other than shaving, but this one, the shaving, by the nature of this, by virtue of the nature of this razor, I guess, has to occupy more of my thinking, and yet I continue to talk. And I wonder if the last time I used this razor or a similar razor on camera was maybe in one of those videos of mine that I erased. If so, I can see why I might have, why I erased those videos. You know, there's been a lot of shaves where, or there have been a lot of shaves where I have gotten an equal amount of audio feedback, but with a far greater amount of comfort. So, that's something anyway. Something to think about, I mean. It's not, uh, well... It's not a plus for this razor. Not anything for me to add or to make me advocate you putting down your dollar or your pound or whatever and getting one. And I know there's some razors uh, made in China, I guess, that are a lot better than this. I have one razor that's about as aggressive as this and maybe still not as uncomfortable to use. And uh, it's a Hong Feng razor, three piece. Kind of looks like one of the old three piece or two or three piece McCurr razors. Or even an old Gillette, perhaps three piece. But that's built better than this, even though it's probably just made of aluminum or something. Doesn't seem like it could fall apart as easily as this one. Okay, now I gotta, I don't know, should I try to go against the grain above my upper lip? I'll try, but if it gets too bad, I'm gonna stop. Okay. Very light touch. I think I'll just go across again. For the most part. Or down. Seems like this didn't get much of the hair the first couple of passes, above my upper lip anyway. I'll try very gingerly going against the grain again here.
I'm going to stop there. I'll come back, relather it down here, and then it'll be pickup time. Okay, here's the magical clock. It's pickup time, everybody. Yay, thank you, magical clock. And, uh, yeah, continuing with not the most comfortable shave in the world. A couple of weepers here. Um, there, was, there was another razor, uh, a $3, well, I think I got it for free, possibly. Uh, another Chinese razor called the Big Bug Razor, and... I used it on camera once in one of the videos that I probably was very wise to erase and uh, I got bad, well, it wasn't anything I had to go to the hospital or even a doctor for, but I got kind of a cut with it on, the, on my face right in here somewhere. And uh, then I think in a video that I still have up, one of my earlier videos when I returned for like a second or third time after rage quitting the channel. Um, then I got, as I recall, a very good shave with that same razor and possibly the same blade. If it wasn't on camera, it was a shave of the day that I just uh, photographed the things I used and posted those in the Facebook groups. But I, rem I remember... I guess the second time, at least the second time I remember using that, that razor, I uh, had pretty good results. So maybe I was hoping to get better results out of this razor. I must, I must have used this once or twice already, somewhere, somehow, sometime, and... Uh, The blade inside of it had two uses already at any rate. I'm going to rinse the razor one more time and very gingerly go over my neck again. I'm kind of taking one for the team today. It would actually be more comfortable and probably a better shave. I don't know if it would be a closer shave necessarily, but a better shave overall, I guess, if I used a can of goo and a disposable razor. And if I am ever going to use a can of goo, I always tell myself, and I do use this on occasion, this, the Noxzema, that's my favorite can of goo. Except, boy, is that stuff, it's hard to find. I don't know, maybe they quit making it, but I think this can cost me seven or eight bucks plus postage. Whereas one time I got a couple of cans of this for two dollars a piece at a Walgreens. Maybe it's because they were discontinuing it or something, I don't know. Or at least Walgreens wasn't going to sell it anymore. Possibly. Okay, the only thing I'm going to check for now is the trouble spots. I'm not going to go over this too much more because Talk about causing irritation. And I probably should speak up because this camera does not have the best microphone. I have another microphone, uh, an, an auxiliary type microphone that I bought, but I don't know if it's any louder and it seems like it was problematic to use. That's it. I'm done with the shave. I'm going to rinse the razor, rinse my brush, rinse my bowl, rinse my face. I'll come back directly. Here's Mr. Tao. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Freshly laundered Mr. Tao. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Feels nice. Yes, sir. Very nice. Nice even though the shave was not terribly comfortable. I think the cold water knocked out those weepers. Uh, towel is pretty soft, but I'd better just sort of pet dry now to try not to reopen those weepers with any roughness. Like I said, the towel's soft, but I could still overdo it. Let's see. I'll put Mr. Towel back 
where he goes and uh, then I'll well I'll begin a brief recap before putting the finishing touches on the shave here um, prep my face with Phoenix ice uh, travel stick uh, and it's a pre-shave and lather booster use the twist to open uh, what was it the Hong Long razor from China very cheap almost free the uh, Ingram menthol cream uh, sterling collapsible shaving bowl and a yaki synthetic brush and let's see am I missing anything oh yes and then the razor on its third use a big Ben blue blade okay Ken Dickinson's Witch Hazel. I'm going to apply that to the face. Some sting due to the alcohol in this Witch Hazel, because this Witch Hazel is an astringent. 14% alcohol by volume, added alcohol. Okay, moving on, Osage Rub uh, Splash, which has a menthol uh, and eucalyptus uh, thing going for it. Put some of that in the hand, get that going, a little on the wrists, temples, up behind the ears, back of the neck. Some sting due to the alcohol in that as well, but uh, also an immediate cooling of the face thereafter. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Probably shouldn't rub my eye after having uh, this uh, on it, the alcohol, but no harm done, I guess. I feel like I got something in my eye, kind of. Oh, and uh, Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Aftershave Balm which I guess has more of a blue menthol thing going for it, but just kind of a light balm, balmy scent. Yeah, let's see, get some of this going here. Mm. Extra added cooling, and then I'll be ready for uh, the evening. Since I'm shaving, well, it's early evening. On Friday, actually. I don't usually have my video up till very early Sunday morning or overnight uh, Sunday morning, depending on where you are. Okay, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace out.